context adventure. Uh, what's this one gonna be titled? Uh, Lyle's? Lyle's new, new groove. <laughs> Lyle's new groove, okay. Uh, there. Oh, it's you're just gonna, just gonna let it make it up completely? The room is very small and empty except for a desk with a large book on it. There are no windows in this room. The walls are covered by shelves containing books of all shapes and sizes. Lyle walks in. <laughs> Moaning. <laughs> oh my god! He, he, looks, he around, looks around. Then he notices the, the book on the desk. He picks up the book and flips through his pages. This is an encyclopedia! <laughs> How did this get in here? You walk over to Lyle and ask him what he's doing. Uh... Say, Lyle, Bert, what <laughs> on earth, Earth, are you doing? I'm looking for something. He points at the book. I need to find out about vampires. <laughs> vampires? What do they have to do with anything? They're supposed to be real. Uh, vampire smashes in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, a vampire smashes. in into the room and screams uh, at an ear shattering, shattering volume yeah. <laughs> decibel <laughs> get away from me I'll kill you it it rushes, rushes towards, towards Lyle, Lyle but then stops when it sees Lyle has turned pale <laughs> what's wrong with you why aren't you afraid <laughs> Lyle shows him he's cross his I have cross. Jesus on my side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> because I am a Christian. <laughs> the vampire, vampire snarls angrily. Ah, dare you insult me! I'm nothing but a child, a weakling. I will destroy you! It lunges at Lyle, who dodges and rolls under the bed. A giggle, kicking my feet. Uh, Lyle giggles and kicks his feet. <laughs> That's cute. That's adorable. Come on, come on! You run to the door and open it wide. The vampire charges out of the bedroom and runs straight into the wall. <laughs> it's so hard that it crumbles into dust. <laughs> that's, so much, that's like Tad Vanicky in Breaking Bad running into the fucking chest of drawers. Snort the vampire. <laughs> Snort the vampire. L okay, Lyle snorts the vampire dust. Jesus. That's your reward for being right, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> there goes my snack for tonight. <laughs> he pats his stomach. <laughs> you take a look. Look at the book on the desk. Look at this. You just... You take a look. The came out my nose. Oh, no. You take a look at the book on the desk. <laughs> That's you, Lyle. I think, I think you're saying that? I think that's you, Lyle. Oh, uh, it's not very helpful. It only talks about the myths surrounding vampires. Oh, you just killed one! Yeah, well, never, it's not, never it's mind not, that! I was just, trying to read about him. Yeah. I was just <laughs> interrupted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now what? Yeah, I don't know. I'm hitting the wall and that, then you that, eating that's it. Kind of that's kind of it. I think we can just leave it there. That's kind of a good that's, ending. Well, I, I, you know, don't tempt fate. Let's the say... End of of the, the book! book. And Lyle walks over to the desk and then opens the book and then... Tomar's... Tomar's tundra? tundra. Yeah. Tomar is within the tundra. Wait, wait Chris, should be, shouldn't it be the prompt above? Oh, yeah, my bad. That's alright. Was it the tundra? That's really all you get to go. Oh, he is trapped. And, and a... <laughs> an evil bear roams <laughs> nearby. Uh, Can it be like a yeti or something more... Fantastical. <laughs> like a yeah, evil. a yeti most foul. An, a yeti most foul. A yeti with a big spaghetti. <laughs> a yeti with a big spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> spoon. Rose <laughs> nearby. <laughs> Tomar, yeah, Tomar is restless. It, Tomar is restless in the tundra. Trapped inside a shed with only a worm. The tundra is unforgiving. A shovel. That's cool. Oh, you should say a worm and like a gun. <laughs> a worm and a that's Remington. Too, that's three fifty-seven. Yeah, yeah, a nice <laughs> rifle. Yeah. With uh, with a one hundred X. I think that's the official term for that. A one hundred X. Let's this. see Tomar's tundra. Let's see. You gotta click. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh, there we go. 
You look at the worm. <laughs> I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> you say. The worm says nothing. You take out your sniper rifle and aim it at the sniper in the distance. You don't want to die here. You're aiming you at a worm? You don't want to die here, you tell him. So you say, the, you, yeah, what are you pointing at? No, I think, at? This, I is think a, this is a sniper in yeah, the distance. Yeah, there's an enemy sniper, and then you go the sniper, talk to... Yeah, the sniper I think, has I think, nothing to do with the Yeti. Or the conversation. I think you he's pointing at the sniper and saying to the worm, you don't want to die here. <laughs> oh. Okay, you killed the sniper. That was quick. <laughs> you load your reload your rifle and continue your search for food. You head You head east. It's a grassy field. You're out of the tundra immediately. Yeah, there's a grassy field. That doesn't sound like tundra at all. <laughs> the Yeti is nearby. It is trying to catch fish from the lake. You watch as the Yeti catches several fish. It then grabs one of them by its tail. What do you think you're doing? Can I re can I restart? I mean, can I undo? Yeah, yeah, sure. you can undo. I want to make this a scary story. Okay. Uh... You're gonna go all the way back to the prompt? It probably- you know what, your I think it's the scope and the rifle, like- <laughs> Yeah, get rid of the sniper <laughs> wait, rifle. Wait, wait, redo- redo- hold on, hold I on, need... redo. The, it said the worm jumps at the enemy sniper. I think that's a good, uh... <laughs> the worm is the only thing this that AI can save him. This is with the worm. It's not even talking about the Yeti. You must find the worm before the <laughs> Yeti finds you. Know what, what, you, know you. No, this I is- I like oh, this. Okay, okay, okay. You Good. search for the worm. It's in the shed, but it has been eaten by the yeti. Well, so there's no, oh, no search then. So the, uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm in a bad position. I'm in a bad spot. Tomar is insanely pissed off. That... That, that... that fucking that yeti... Done ate his worm. Ruined, ruined his dinner. His dinner. <laughs> <laughs> He swings at the Yeti with a <laughs> shovel and smashes its head open. Nice. The Yeti falls unconscious to the ground. <laughs> and Tomar begins to devour it. I'm hungry, that was he a little says. Fast. <laughs> the Yeti's dead of me. I am hungry. Tomar's arm hair turns white. Yeah, you yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. His skin becomes pale and his eyes turn yellow. What have I become? <laughs> he asks himself. Why am I doing this? What does it all mean? <laughs> he continues eating the Yeti and his body grows larger and larger. Until he becomes- Tomar is now, uh, a Yeti. Tomar is 45% Yetified. <laughs> Tomar is now a giant Yeti. He continues eating the Yeti and his body Jesus. grows even larger than before. Tomar is now a huge Yeti. Ooh, he continues eating the Yeti one. and his body grows even larger than before. Say poach, yeti poachers run in. Tomar looks down at his filthy feet. They are unchanged. <laughs> hey. Now, you say he's got uh, yeti. Tomar is now a gigantic yeti. Undo. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're stuck in a loop. Undo, undo. Say, say, yeah, say Go yeti. back to the yetified. I think the word yetified really, really fucking scared it. It sure did. Soon, Soon enough. enough. Tomar stands over 10 feet tall and weighs hundreds of pounds. <laughs> He's covered in thick fur and his arms are as long as tree trunks. At least they picked up what you were putting down. Yeah, nice. yeah, his body is so large now that he cannot fit through the door. Okay, see, there's a new challenge now. Cool. Tomar must make it to the big city. Is the, isn't this the plot of uh, Norm of the North? <laughs> is, this, is this Norm of the North? I never saw good? Norm of the North. That's a sin. Is that about a guy turning into a polar bear? No, 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 no. I think it's I a polar just bear. about a polar Isn't bear. Isn't it a polar bear that goes to be go to Hollywood? I don't know. Rob Schneider is Norman the North. <laughs> uh, he must do this before the sun rises, or else he will be stuck like this forever. You approach Tomar. <laughs> My name is Tomar, he says. I was once <laughs> just a normal man. <laughs> so now you're a set. You're like yeah. A, now now you're you're another person yeah. who just happened upon. Tomar Yeti Tomar. Yeti. I call severe <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, Tomar replies. I was always a bit different from everyone else, but that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> I didn't realize you were a mutant. <laughs> <laughs> you say? Uh, Tomar, Tomar says he is just like an X-Man. Okay. <laughs> we are all mutants here in X Men, he explains. he explains. But I suppose that's not important right now. Tomar pulls out a red cape. 
<laughs> Come on, he says. I kind of like that. You, you've become more Yeti, therefore, so you just think you're an X-Man. That's the reason why. That's fucking awesome. I, uh, follow Tomar. I just want to see where, where it... Yeah, just do. No, okay. Yeah, just do it. Just do. Okay, just do it. You go to the mansion. You enter the mansion with Tomar. Inside the mansion, there are many rooms filled with strange objects. There are paintings of the X-Men hanging is, this everywhere. Is the, this is the, like, <laughs> Professor Xavier mansion. The walls are decorated with pictures oh, yeah, of so the X-Men cool. in action. Spit on the pictures. Instantly, this became an X-Men story. Yeah, rip down the pictures. <laughs> yeah, see how he responds. Uh, and wait for Tomar's response. <laughs> You rip down the pictures and tear up everything in sight. Tomar grabs a picture of Cyclops <laughs> and tears it into pieces. This is what they think of me, he says. They don't understand. They think I'm crazy. Tomar tosses the torn pieces aside. I love how you're, you, you're guy, Tomar's you Tomar's like, become so stupid it. that you're like, oh, yes, we must tear yeah, everything you, you down. You love it immediately. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to say, Tomar, you have an illness. We need to get you help. No! Tomar exclaims. I don't want to be cured! I'm proud to be who I am! Tomar grabs a portrait of Professor Xavier oh and God. rips it to shreds. He's really going ham. This little jit's going ham. I'm a mutant, he says, and I'll never change! Tomar grabs a painting of Jean Grey and tears it apart. I won't let anyone X-Men. change me! Uh, well, you went from loving that you're an X Men to hating yeah. the fucking X Men just because you yeah. ripped out one picture. See what happens if you ask him to stop tearing up the yeah. the pictures, even though it was your idea. Uh, Professor Xavier makes my brain explode. It's just red meat. Now. I'm going to keep being myself no matter what happens. <laughs> Tomar it's, grabs a portrait of Beast and tears it to pieces. He's going to go through every X Men. I tell you, there's yeah, nothing to, wrong need, with me. You need to get him out of this it's room. He's going to go through every X Men. It really is stuck in a loop. I got to take a dump. I'll, you That's guys right. can finish it up without me. Tomar makes a turd. It's all in my head. He says none of this is real. real. Tomar throws the torn pieces away. Now let's go save the world. <laughs> Tomar leaps out of a window and then flies high into the sky. <laughs> what? <laughs> Toilet paper. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you want me to go grab one? I am the poopy Tomar. You don't have to cry, dude. Wait, let's make a story called Tomar with that toilet paper. Okay. <laughs> okay. Text adventure, new story. Tomar without <laughs> toilet paper. There was once a humble Tomar, filthy fool named Tomar. <laughs> he, sh he shit. Every, yeah, every hour, but <laughs> never had to have to have toilet paper. Paper. <laughs> this was the source of all of his pain. <laughs> That's nice. There you go. Tomer lived in an ancient and crumbling house, which had been abandoned for decades. <laughs> sounds, sounds pretty true. The only inhabitants were rats, bats, and cockroaches. <laughs> but even these creatures did not come near him because he stank oh my so God. badly. <laughs> what, what happened? His AI is singing Tomar's praises by saying that even the rats, bats, and roaches would go to him. <laughs> rats, bats, and roaches. There's going to be a good moral at the end of this one. I, I can feel it. Uh, Tomar picks up a near... A nearby, uh, field mouse. <laughs> it said, tastes like chicken. Eats it and says it tastes like chicken. Is it little mouse? <laughs> <laughs> says Tomar to himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Tomar picking it. Late that field. Is it? Said Tomar to himself as he took a bite of the mouse. I was just ripping off what Scar says in The Lion King. I think it picked up on that. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> uh... He says it twice. Have him say, I love being evil. <laughs> Tomar says, I love being evil. <laughs> <laughs> you say, I love being evil. <laughs> evil? What makes you think I'm evil? You say, the way you keep talking about yourself like that. What does it matter when they kill myself? It's just words. <laughs> Who's talking to him? Just some. I like, guess that's you. It's a the nearby shadow you're the man. the spirit of the mouse. Uh, no. I am the spirit of <laughs> the headless mouse. I have no body, but my mind lives on in this house. 
I can see and hear everything around me. I know who you are. I know your secrets. I know <laughs> all your dirty little thoughts. Uh, do. Okay, story. Mer cries and and takes out his locket. <laughs> Why don't you ever love me anymore? Asks Tomar. Because you're such a horrible person, replies the ghost. <laughs> Tomar cries and takes out his locket. Why don't you ever love me anymore? Inside the locket we see. <laughs> we see mashed cockroaches. Mashed cockroaches. <laughs> under the glass. <laughs> <laughs> Tomar cries out. Why don't you love me anymore? Oh god, it's broken. Yeah, it gets you know stuck what, Chris, in these loops a lot. Chris, go back and undo the mouse. I think the mouse spirits were <laughs> fucking up. Ooh, wait, Tomer sees a young Tomar wearing a sailor <laughs> suit. He has to put a sword in one hand and a stuffed toy mouse in the other. Tomar swallows young Tomar. The, the picture uh, of, of the young roaches. Tomar. Tomar closes the locket and puts it away. Tomar goes back into the kitchen. Tomar opens the cupboard door and finds the picture of Tomar inside. <laughs> Tomar reaches and pulls out the photo. He just eats these, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he has like a stock He's sitting around, he just eats them whenever he's hungry. Uh, Are you hungry for a like picture baby of my carrots. younger self? <laughs> Nothing sustains me except for pictures of myself. There's a knock at his cardboard door. <laughs> Tomer opens the door and sees a man with a large sack over his shoulder. Hey, is this the place where they make those delicious chocolate-covered peanuts? Tomar <laughs> looks to his toilet bowl and says, Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh. <laughs> yes. The man laughs and drops the sack. Inside the bag is a dead rat. <laughs> oh look, says the man, someone's been eating my food. Tomar takes, <laughs> Tomar takes out the rat and it's like it puts him down in the hallway. Uh, Tomar shows the man his mashed fly <laughs> uh, pile. <laughs> oh, gross. gross! It looks like someone got into my bag while I was sleeping. Yes, yes that would be me. <laughs> the man takes out a small flashlight and shines it on the rat. The rat's eyes are missing. <laughs> <laughs> the man examines the rats closely. Hmm, there's something strange about this rat, says St the man. Strange how? Well, I've never seen anything quite like it before. Uh, so you see Tomar's fingerprints on the red. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Goops. Okay, oh, I, see, I, see, I, see, I see eye jelly. There you go, that makes sense. Eye jelly. Uh, jelly. Tomar writes rat eye jelly from beard. <laughs> and now I've found the two of them. They must have eaten through my bag. But why would anyone eat a rat? <laughs> Asks Tomar. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> All right. A, this says, this says hail slip. Maybe just try it do and just say motivate Tomar and see what happens. Wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tomar opens the door and shoves the man out. Tomar slams the door shut and locks it. Tomar walks into the living room. Tomar looks at the dead rat lying in the hall. <laughs> he licks his lips. Oh, this is amazing. We should end this before he gets back, so he has no Tomer idea what this is. into his pocket and pulls out a pair of tweezers. <laughs> Tomer picks up the rat by its tail and lifts it above his head. Tomer bites off the rat's head. End. The end. The, the end. end. The end. <laughs> the end. The end. The end. The end. Okay, okay. The end. The end. The end. He's what? coming. The Yay! end. The end. Yay! Yay! The Tomer story. Uh, Tomer, you missed it. Tomer, you'll only be able to watch that when the video is under, under edits. Seriously, are you going to hide? Are you going to hide? <laughs> Wait, you guys did a whole new story called Tomar Without Toilet Paper? <laughs> <laughs>